Diamond we have breaking news. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is giving an update on Hurricane Milton. Let's listen. Flooding and damaging winds near its path. Uh, the storm did bring much destruction and damage. Tornadoes ravaged parts of the east coast of the state. Flooding occurred on the west and east coast, and strong winds lashed the state, especially in Pinellas, Hillsborough, Manatee, and Sarasota counties. Over the last 24 hours, heavy rainfall totals upwards of 10 to 15 inches has been observed across much of the Tampa Bay area, Nature Coast, and spreading eastward along north of I-4 corridor towards Sanford. Isolated pockets of up to 18 inches of rainfall were observed in Pinellas and Coastal Hillsborough counties. Five to 10 inches of rainfall has been observed further northward towards Gainesville along eastern portions of the I-4 corridor and south of the western I-4 corridor towards Sarasota. Several rivers reach major flood stage and major flooding continues along portions of the Hillsborough River, St. Johns River, and Little Wakaiva River. Water levels are forecast to continue rising along northeast and west central Florida rivers and waterways, with many forecasts to remain within or reach moderate to flood stage over the next day or so. Uh, we had over 80,000 people that were into shelters overnight as the storm hit the state. Uh, we will better understand the extent of the damage as the day progresses. Uh, and you have people that are out there assessing damage right now. First responders have been working all through the night to help people who were in distress. And what we can say is the storm was significant, but thankfully this was not the worst case scenario. The storm did weaken before landfall and the storm surge as initially reported has not been as significant overall as what was observed for Hurricane Helene. Right now it looks like Sarasota County had the most significant storm surge, uh, likely somewhere between 8 to 10 feet. And remember with Helene, we had 15 to 20 feet up in Taylor County. Rescue missions have been un underway throughout the night. State search and rescue teams report at least 48 individuals have been rescued as of 0630. National Guard search and rescue teams have worked overnight and successfully executed rescues of families and pets on the West Coast and from the destruction of the tornadoes uh, in, east, in the central and eastern parts of Florida. The Guard continues to work into the morning and have 31 rescue aircraft operational and hundreds of rescuers engaged in over 125 active missions missions in 26 different counties. Over 6,500 soldiers are deployed throughout the state. Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission has made land and water rescues in Pinellas, Hillsborough, and Pasco County. Uh, the State Guard has also been engaged in search and rescue, assisting with flood water evacuations as well as damage assessments. Uh, there are currently uh, 3.1 million uh, accounts without power. There have been 635,000 restorations since Hurricane Milton hit Florida. The areas that have the most significant outages as of this morning are Hillsboro, 75% out, Hardy, 97% out, Manatee, 82% out, Pinellas, 68% out, and Sarasota, 75% out. Of course, there are 50,000 plus linemen that have been pre-staged. Uh, a lot of what they'll do this morning is likely assess the damage uh, and then begin restoration uh, uh, operations very quickly. And we appreciate everybody that's in that fight because that's very important for a lot of people. Cut and toss have begun at first light by the Florida Department of Transportation. 328 crews are active in the field with over 350 pieces of heavy equipment and trucks. 150 bridge inspectors were dispatched at first light and have begun performing inspections to open bridges across the impact areas. As I put in my executive order, uh, residents uh, you know, have a right to be back into their homes as soon as the roadways are deemed safe. In Tampa, the Gandhi Bridge and Howard Franklin Bridge have been inspected, cleared, and are open. And inspections of the Sunshine Skyway Bridge are underway. Um, the, there is debris on the Sunshine Skyway as well as the Courtney Campbell, uh, but once that debris is clear, we anticipate those bridges opening later this morning. Uh, other bridges are being opened as soon as the state inspections are completed. The Tampa Airport is repairing minimal damage and should be open no later than tomorrow. Seaports are awaiting Coast Guard Channel surveys to re reopen Waterside, but as of now, our initial assessments is they will likely be able to uh, resume operations uh, very quickly. 
Uh, we still have a lot of school closures for today. I think Floridians should just keep in contact with their with their local officials about what that's going to be. I would imagine a lot of the schools uh, that were not necessarily in the direct path of the storm will be open tomorrow. Uh, it may take a few more days for some of the places that were harder hit. Now, as you survey damage and clean up, please be cautious of hazards. We have post-storm fatalities almost every storm, and a lot of these fatalities are avoidable. So please be cautious of downed power lines. Don't touch them. Uh, don't remove tree debris that may be entangled with downed power lines. Standing water can conceal downed power lines and other hazards, so please be mindful and never walk through storm waters. Standing storm waters can also carry a bacteria that can lead to fatal infections. Uh, the, this type of infection was responsible for a fatality following Hurricane Helene, so please avoid wading through standing water. Please use proper ladder safety. Please use proper generator safety. Do not operate the generator inside your home. It must be outside a safe distance from doors and windows. Visit Florida's emergency accommodation modules on Expedia and Priceline will remain available for those who are returning to their homes, which were evacuated during the storm and sustained damage uh, or, um, or in need of other type of shelter. So these models will continue to provide real-time hotel availability and lodging resources, making the experience easier for users. If traffic lights are out in your area, please drive with caution and treat each light as you would a four-way stop. Uh, and also remember, if you're going to use a chainsaw, be very careful with that. We have mishaps on that after every storm. We are extending the Hope Florida line for another two weeks at 24 hours, seven days a week. So if you need assistance or resources post-storm, you can call 1-833-GET-HOPE, 1-833-GET-HOPE. Hope Florida's Disaster Arm, Activate Hope, is a program designed to help people find help following a disaster such as a hurricane. Uh, so you can call the HOPE line. You can also visit the HOPE bus, which will uh, be in some of these areas very soon, and there'll be announcements about that. Florida Commerce and the State Emergency Response Team activated the Business Damage Assessment Survey in response to Hurricane Milton. Business owners can self-report physical and economic damage caused by the storm. Businesses complete, can complete the survey online at floridadisaster.biz, floridadisaster.biz. Florida Commerce has also activated the Small Business Emergency Bridge Loan Program. We have 50 million available to Florida small businesses, and it's a zero interest loan, very flexible repayment options. Uh, you can apply for loans of up to $50,000 through the program. Uh, loans of up to 100000 are available for agriculture and aquaculture small businesses, and loans of 150000 are available for citrus and cattle operations. Again, these are short-term zero-interest loan. You get the cash in your hand. Uh, the repayment terms are, are very flexible. You can apply at www.floridajobs.org slash EBL, floridajobs.org slash EBL. We've also activated the Florida Disaster Fund for those who want to make uh, tax-deductible charitable contributions that will be used to be able to help Floridians who are in need. And you can go to floridadisasterfund.org, floridadisasterfund.org, if you have any questions. Uh, We're going to continue to uh, support all remaining rescue missions that are that are underway and that may ne be needed in the near future. Uh, we'll also continue to assess the damage that was done fr from the storm. Uh, we also anticipate that because of the amount of water, you know, you may see uh, flooding uh, happen not just now, but but in the uh, subsequent days. But I think everybody responded very quickly. Uh, I'm proud of everybody's hard work. Uh, we got more work to do, but uh, we will we will absolutely get through this.